Yo, hi guys, I'm Ekwan here. Thank you for watching this copywriting for beginners tutorial. So if you are a business owner, a uh, marketer, or just a freelancer that would like to brush up your skill on uh, marketing, your knowledge on um, generating more revenue, so this course is absolutely for you. So make sure that you watch this video from the start until the end and make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel because you are the reason why I'm creating such a great content. Now, let's dive in. I'll see you in the lectures. Yo, hey guys, I'm Minkon here. Thank you for watching. So in this video, you will get to understand what is copywriting. Let's dive in. Copywriting is your secret business success and also a career building tool. So what does copywriting actually mean? Is copywriting all the stuff that you learn in school about grammar or writing a great essay that gets you a A plus with it. You might think your reader want to be educated or even be entertained by your sales copy, but they are actually not. And this is where a lot of copywriters go wrong because what your readers really want is for your copy to help to give what they need and also able to solve their problems. So a good copywriting should be like a medicine that able to cure diseases. It should be able to fix whatever disease your reader is having as quickly and effortlessly as possible. You may be wondering now, do I need to be a good novel writer? Do I need to learn how to write a good novel like JK Rowling in order to become a good copywriter? Well, not necessary. I am very sure that JK Rowling does not do her own copywriting she hires someone else that is expert in copywriting to do it for her. All you need are the tools to understand your customer and then the tactics to persuade them. So Wing, what is copywriting actually is? Copywriting is the process of having words to make things sell better. It is the art of turning words into sales. That is the only goal with copywriting. In another way of saying, getting people to take an action after reading your stuff. So it is actually a marketing tool because the way that you frame your words can change how people behave, whether that is true in email or web page or video script or just anything that you are writing. In fact, a good copywriter can make a video that sells like crazy. So the way that you frame your words can mean the difference between getting a sales or not which is why copywriting is the most profitable skill a business can learn. Because if your words don't move people to take actions, how are you going to sell anything? Just imagine that your goal for this year is to generate 100,000, but you do not know how to copyright. It's just like you have a dream, but you do not want to take any actions, or you do not know how to take actions. You are not going anywhere. You are not going to achieve your dreams. You are not going to achieve anything. Let me give you a scenario to understand better what copywriting is. During our father times, to run a business, you will need to open a shop, put an ad on the yellow pages. But then, the internet came along and changed everything. Nowadays, to run a successful business, all you need is internet and you do not even need to have a physical products. So what about yellow pages? Copywriting is the new yellow pages. It does exactly what the old take dictionary like yellow pages does, but thousand more better. Once you learn how to copyright to persuade and convince people to buy things from you, or getting a team to agree with your ideas from getting an investor to fund your startup, or even your boss to give you a promotion, that is not one element of a life that won't be improved by writing more persuasive copy. And that's why I believe that copywriting is the secret for a successful business and also a career building. So this is copywriting in a nutshell. I hope that you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. My name is Wing Hon. Copywriting is all about turning words into revenue. It is an art that needs to be sharpened and mastered by every single email marketers. Now, let's look at one of the effective copywriting system. Headline. State your headline as a question, such as would you like to make 50,000, 100,000 or even half a million 
in the highly profitable online business. On the next subject line, you want to grab even more attention of your subscriber to continue reading your email. So you can put something like discover the life-changing career where you control your schedule and to determine the lifestyle for you and your family. Just a gentle reminder, this email is all about affiliate marketing and online business. So if you are running a different niche, this can help you to be a reference as well. In the headline, insert the most emotionally charged ideas, but do not describe the exact products that you are selling. Instead, appeal to the customer motivation for needing the products. Always remember this. You only have your title of your post to win your audience heart in continuing reading your page. If you have a boring title, your audience will not read through it. And the purpose of your headline is to attract people to read the second paragraph the third and eventually the whole page. So keep it short and interesting. Contents. After your headline, now you have your content section. Now, you have captured your audience's attention with the opening paragraph. Move on to explaining what your product, service or website page is all about. And some of the best way to do the opening paragraph is something leading with a question that wear the shoes of your readers. So for example, should I take online business? Should I change career? How should I do it? What are the steps? Is it difficult? Does it take long? I know that the online business is a highly lucrative market, but how can someone like me with no prior education in online business, no skill and no experience earn in a year? By asking these type of questions, you are actually entering the conversations that are going on in your customer head or in your audience head and you are actually wearing their shoes and think of what they will think so in this content session you are pretty much answering all their doubts at one shot why should i listen to you and why should i listen to what those people has to say so these are actually questions that your audience will ask themselves before they will listen to you or read your email or buy anything from you so to answer these type of questions, you need to establish credibility. And in this part, it is okay to talk about yourself a bit. Talk a bit about your credentials, your expertise, and the clients that you have had. So if you are selling like a weight loss product or program, you can state your experience in the industry and also how many clients that have successfully achieved their weight loss goal with you. It's just like writing a CV on your resume on the achievement session. Offer in bullet points. So you have addressed who you are, why they have to listen to you, and you have pretty much successfully built a good connection with the audience for those that make it so far. Let's face it though, out of 100 emails that you send, 20 to 30% of your audience will click and open your email. And out of these 20 to 30%, there are another 20 to 30% will read half of your email. And another 50% of them will read the whole page. And out of this 50%, there may be only a good 20 to 30% of the audience will click on your given link. Well, it is a sad fact that I'm telling you this, but I am just not going to lie to you. So, putting in the hard work is essential to run a successful online business. When writing your offer, make sure that everything is in bullet point and only state the benefit of your products instead of the features of your products. Testimonial. No one likes to be the first to join any program or buy anything. So it will be the best that if you can provide some sort of testimonial. As we discussed earlier, if you do not have any testimonial, it's fine. Send out your products for others to try out and in return, ask them to give you their testimonial. If this somehow is very hard for your products or services, you can borrow social proof from other people. Normally, as a consumer, they are skeptical at first before buying anything, especially online, as they cannot see or even touch the products. How they know you are telling the truth? To answer this doubt, provide some testimonial. What have other people experienced? What can other people say about your products and services? And ideally, you should have video testimonial. If you cannot get any video testimonial, then get written 
testimonial attached with a picture. The more specific and detailed the review, the better. Call to action and guarantee. Now that you have made your case, make your sales argument, capture your attentions, capture their attentions, establish credibility, and show them that other people just like them have experienced results, and they can finally see exactly how you are going to solve their problem. At this point, you want to make ordering as easy, as obvious as possible. You want them to have a one-click purchase button, and you want them to click on a link that is obvious and clickable as possible. Make it easy and obvious to buy and take action. And now the consumer know where to buy your products, but why they need to buy now? And that is what is missing in most offer, because people procrastinate. So what you have to do is give them a deadline on when to take action. Otherwise, if a customer thinks about something too long, they ended up not buying any at all. So procrastination kills your revenue. And in this example, we give out an early bird launching price. So now, let's have a recap of the whole system of a copywriting system. A short and straight to the point headline. A questions content, credential, write your offer in bullet points, put in testimonial, and the last, call to action and guarantee. Yo, hey guys, I am Wing Huan here. Thank you for watching. So in this video, you will learn the seven power words that are used by online marketers to bring them more sales. Now. Let's dive in. Before we get started, it is super important that we learn the science behind these powerful and persuasive words so that you can have a better understanding on how those things actually works. So according to Andrew Newberg and Mark Roberts, words can literally change your brain. Positive words such as peace and love can alter the expression of genes, strengthening areas in our frontal loops and promoting the brain's cognitive functioning. They propel the motivational center of the brain into actions, according to the authors, and build resiliency. So, in another words of saying, the right words can trigger an emotional reaction of a human being. Therefore, there is a famous saying, people buy by emotions. So when you use power words in copywriting, you grab the attention of more people, your content becomes more influential, and people act on your advice. And what's more, a careful selection of power words helps shape your voice and also your business. So what are power words? Weak words have a shallow meaning, they don't make readers feel something, and they don't allow readers to visualize your words and also they do not know what you want them to do. In contrast, power words tend to have strong meanings. They nudge people to take actions, to download your reports, to contact you for a quote, to implement your advice, or to buy courses. Now, let's look at the top 7 power words that you can use and start seeing some good money coming in. Power words number 1, new. New takes us on an adventure. A journey of discovery. Our brains are wired for new. It is our human instinct to be interested in new things because new things help us to innovate and seek new opportunities. Free. Our attraction to freebies is irrational. Free is not only powerful when adding bonuses to a product or services, you can also use free to attract attention to your blog post. Power words number three, imagine. When people hold your products in their hands, their desire to own your products increases. And this is why car salesmen tend you to test drive a car and why jewelry sellers suggest you to try the necklace or the watch to see how it works. Power words number four, because presenting a reason why people should do something can trigger an automated response. According to research, if you don't give a reason why people should allow you to jump the queue, only 60% will let you to go ahead. 
But when you give a reason, for example, you are on a rush to pick up your kids, using the word because, 93% of people allow you to jump the queue. So use because. Instant. We all know the feeling of wanting something now. Imagine that there are two options for you. The first one, after buying, you can download the book instantly. Second, after buy, you only can download the ebook after three days, but with 10% cheaper in price compared to the first one. So even though options two is cheaper, but people will be more likely to go for option one because they can download the book instantly after paying. How to? Do you know that most of the best-selling books and courses start with the title with how to? How to works even better when advice promise is specific and valuable. Numbers. Numbers like 8, 9 or 93 are not actually words, but they can instantly boost your persuasiveness. Why is this? Expert Jacob tracked eyes movement of user visiting website and he found out that numeral often stop the wandering eyes and attract fixations. Even when they are embedded within a mass of words that users otherwise ignore. So numerals actually attract attention because they look different from letters. And moreover, numbers represent facts. In fact, I started to experience my own YouTube videos by putting in numbers on my YouTube thumbnail and also on my title and it showed increase in will for the same niche. Not too bad, right? So this is the seven powerful persuasive words that you can use on your own copywriting to get more sales coming in. I'll see you on the next video. Before you start writing, there's one thing you absolutely must do before you write a single word, which is know your goal. You can't write a good copywriting if you do not know the goal of your content. So, for example, is your copyright want your reader to subscribe to your email list? Want them to book a call with you? Buy your products? Open your email? Just what exactly you want them to do after reading your writing? So each paragraph and each sentence should contribute to achieving that goal. So if you want to write copy that converts, you have got to set your goal before you begin. There are three points for you to keep your copy on track. The first one, what are the informations that you want your reader to have? Second, how do you want your reader to feel after reading the copy? And the last one, what you want your reader to do once they finish reading your copy. So this process will help you to get a clear about your intentions and stop you from getting lost focus. So now, for example, you are an online affiliate marketer and you want to write an article to your email list. So first off, what are the information that you want your reader to have? Pick a topic that is related to your reader. Well, it could be the top five ways of generating traffic to your products or it could be the top five affiliate products to promote. Just anything that is related to your readers. So the trick here is just share one topic and do it very clear and focused. In that way, your reader is much more likely to pay attention to you. Now, you need to ask how do you want your reader to feel? And this is because we want to stuff something in them that goes beyond logic and give them the wow factor after reading your email. So you can include some result elements or social proof to show that what you are actually writing here is legit. So. For example, my ABC client earned this X amount of money with one of these traffic generating methods. When you've done that, finally you need to ask what do you want your readers to do? A lot of copywriters sometimes fall down over here because they've forgotten that if you do not tell people what to do next, they are just going to go off somewhere else. So you need to be very, very clear and tell them what you want them to do after reading your article. You can put something like, read this article over here, click here to read more. Always, always, always let your readers know what you want them to do. 
In this video, we are going to talk about a very specific elements that you need to know and master in so that whatever you write, people will read and buy your products or services. Now let's dive in. So do people want to buy a phone or is actually for photos and also for life convenience? Do people really want to buy a bed or the good night's sleep? Do people want to buy a affiliate marketing course or they just want to earn money? So the truth is that people don't care about your products and services, nor do they care about the features or any technical specifications of those products and services. What they really care is about what it can do for them and the results that they will get from using it. So you need to sell the results, not the product. And we need to state what is the problem that we are going to solve. So if you wrote only about the features, it will be like telling someone to buy this phone because it has a good camera. And a good camera is obviously a feature. Well, I know that features are very important, but they are not the hook. They are not the action taking button that your client will press. Now, let us do an exercise. So here is a waterproof business bag and also a waterproof smartphone. Just think of one benefit for each of this item. You can pause this video and write it down, but I will just continue with it. So for the backpack, the benefit will be it able to keep everything in it dry even when it is raining. For the smartphone, it will not spoil if you accidentally drop the phone inside a pool. So now, you got the benefits of the products. The next thing that you really have to do is to ask the so what questions so that you can get deeper in how you're able to solve your client's problem with what you have. Now, let's get started. So for the business bag, the benefit will be it able to keep everything inside the bag dry even when it is raining. So what? So that if you have some really important document in it, it will not get wet and destroyed by the water. So what? If a document is a 10 million signed contract, you will not lose it. Next, let's look at the waterproof phone. So for a smartphone, it will not spoil if you accidentally drop the phone inside a pool. So what? It could save you another 2000 to buy a new phone where you can use the money on somewhere else. So what? So that all the important contacts, documents, data, and information that's stored inside your phone will not get disappear. And it is really troublesome when you need to transfer all this stuff from an old phone to a new phone. So by asking the so what questions, you get to have the result answer. Now, let's look at some of the more real life example of result-based copywriting. So we help parents take better picture. Notice this result sentence. They don't even talk about the lenses, the lightning, the angle or compositions, the pixel or how great is the lenses. They just simply identify a specific audience, which is parents, and state that they solve a problem they know their audience has. Next, everyone can fly by Air Asia. 10 years back, taking a plane is a luxury thing that only the rich people can afford. Well, to solve this problem, Air Asia came up with the solution of a budget plane and make everyone can fly. So on their advertisement, they do not state how many seats they have, what sort of engine or field that they use. All they state is they are providing a solution to the expensive services so that everyone can afford it. Next, Dyson. Dyson is a British technology company established in the United Kingdom by Sir James Dyson in 1991. This company designed and manufactured household appliances such as vacuum cleaners, air purifier, hand dryers, heaters, hair dryers, and lights. So James Dyson hated the dust feel back and loss of suction of conventional vacuum cleaners. So what is his solutions? A backless vacuum. Now let's look at one of the Dyson Cyclone V10. So the title is powerful suction to deep clean everywhere. And then it lists out all the features. So the result of buying Cyclone V10, deep clean everywhere. Simple and easy. So keep asking the so what questions and ideally you want these deeper benefits to connect to the dreams and the goal of your target readers and customer. You need to put yourself in your client's shoes. 
for example, if you are selling a weight loss products, what are the results that you want? You want people to instantly go like, oh yeah, that is really what is inside my mind. That is the result that I want. That is really why I want to buy these products. So whatever you write on your email or your copywriting, it needs to be able to connect with your potential clients. So always remember to start with the benefit of your products or services and end it by writing down your copy with what are the results that it will bring when they buy your products or services. That's it for now. I will see you on the next lecture. In this video, we are going to talk about how to write a sales copy that able to trigger your readers' emotions and make them to take action of buying your products or services. Now, let's dive in. So, people buy emotions, not the products or services that you are providing. By knowing this, what we need to do next is to write a sales copy that makes them feel like buying our products as fueling is a strong emotion. A product that has high emotional sales copy able to sell at a better price as well. Now, let's look at some good example. So in countries like Singapore and Malaysia, they are famous with Hainanese chicken rice. So if you go to a typical shop that sells this kind of rice, it will cost you about $2 to $3. Dollars. But if you go to a Western high-class restaurant that sell exactly the same rice, but with these descriptions. The Hainanese chicken rice is a dish that consists of succulent steamed with chicken cut into bit-sized pieces and served on fragrant rice with some light soy sauce. The dish is topped with sprinkles of coriander leaf and sesame oil and accompanied by a garlic chili dip. And it is selling at 10 USD dollars or even more, although it is exactly the same. Let's look at another popular dish, the spaghetti bolognese. So in a typical Asian shop, I can get it for 3 to $4. In Western restaurant, I need to pay 10 to $15 for it. So because of this, a traditional sauce made with prime beef, pork mince, and Italian Roma tomatoes. And it makes you so want to eat this noodle. But in fact, we all know that this is just beef mint with tons of tomato sauce. So, selling through emotion is really a very powerful tool to not only increase your closing ratio, but also you can sell at a higher price as well. You need to show your potential customer how passionate are you in the products. Now, when we talk about using emotions in your copy, it does not mean that you can just tell people how to feel. Those stand-up comedians will tell a joke so that you know they can actually provide their joke services. Okay, just imagine that you are writing a copy for your new launch t-shirts. You might write something like this. My new t-shirt is nice and trending. Well, do you actually feel excited in buying it? Of course you don't. But if you describe the shirts combined with the experience, that the person will get, such as the cooling experience from the finest cotton, and you will be sweatless. You are definitely going to get the sense that this shirt is a must-buy during a hot weather or during the summertime. As we learned from our previous video, sell the result of the products. So by using concrete details and also listing out the result after buying your products in the mind of your readers, it will help in evoke a feelings and emotions that spur them to the interested with your products. Remember to use the emotions elements when writing your copy. That's it for now. I will see you on the next lecture. In this video, I will share with you about how to write an email title that people will click and read. So if you think that you know how to write an email, you probably will think twice after watching this video. No matter what others guru says, people do judge the subject line. What makes you open an article? The subject line. What makes you continue reading an online article? The subject line. What makes you buy a book? The title of the book. Although we learn not to judge a book by its cover, 
but seriously, it does matter. According to HubSpot.com, 47% of marketers say they test different email subject lines to optimize their email performance. And that's why it is so important to craft subject lines that are compelling enough to get people to click through. Do you want people to look at your sales copy? Do you want people to open your email? If your answer is yes, please work on your title first. No matter how good is your copy contents, if no one reads, you won't get any sales. No matter how good is your email, if no one click and open it, you won't get any sales as well. Well, I always tell my clients that a title is just like a summary of the whole article or the email that you want to send out. It is just like the tell me what you do in a sentence. You will not say something like, I am a Facebook marketer, I have five years of experience, blah, blah, blah. You will be like, I help businesses to get more clients via Facebook marketing. That's it. Clean, simple, and straight to the point, easy to understand. So, it will be similar when writing a title that engaging. There are a lot of rules or formula that you can find out there, but these five are the really essence of writing a title that increases sales. Now, let's learn the five rules of writing an engaging title for your email. Keep it short and sweet. Email subject line will cut off if they are too long, especially on mobile devices. According to emailmonday.com, up to 77% of email opens taking place on mobile using subject line with fewer than 50 characters to make sure the people scanning your email read the entire subject line. Second, use action-oriented verbs. If you want people to open and read your email, tell them to do it. Subject line are similar to call to action. So, use languages to motivate people to click. It is just like YouTuber asking viewer to click on the subscription button and subscribe to the channel. So, you need to tell people what you want them to do. Subject line that begin with action verbs tend to be a lot more enticing and your email could be have more click by adding a vibrant verb at the beginning. So, for example, claim your ultimate free ebook and podcast. Use emoji on your title. Swift Page, a developer of apps for small businesses, conducted their own experiment on the effectiveness of email with emojis in the subject letters. Half of the mailing subscriber were getting emoji messages and the rest only the text. So the result on emoji messages, an increase of unique opening by 29%, an increase of unique click rate by 28%, and the CTR click-through rates increased by 93%. So one of the main reasons for the increase of all this is because emoji represent emotions. As we learned before, people actions is closely related to emotions. So for example, claim your unlimited free ebook and podcast. You can put a attention emoji at the very front to create the urgency to open the email or read the article. And furthermore, an email title that has emoji on it will stand out a bit more than the rest. Next, no filler words. With such precise space, don't waste it with unnecessary words like, hello, how are you? Nice to meet you and thanks, which can easily be included in the email's body itself. Get into the point right away. Remember what I told you before? A title is a summary of what you want your reader to read. So get straight to the point. Last but not least, don't use all capital or overuse exclamation marks. Copywriting is an art of converting words to money. That also means whatever you write on the article or on your email, it's able to connect and able to talk to your readers in a sense. Therefore, different wording which include the size of the words will represent different meanings. For example, open this email now. How do you feel? You feel like someone is yelling at you. Well, I am not going to open this email. No one like to be yelled at. Second, all capital letters title look so spammy. I am not going to open it either. In fact, according to a study by the Radicati group, more than 85% of respondents prefer an all lowercase subject line to one in all capital. So, that's it for now. 
please remember all of these five rules when you're constructing your subject line on your email. I will see you on the next lecture. Hey guys, how's things going? Welcome back to another great video. So in this video, I will share some hacks and tips for real estate copywriting to help you to boost your sales higher. Copywriting for real estate is slightly different from others' niche such as software and weight loss program as the primary method of selling a property majority are through listing. So we are going to learn about how to copyright a good property listing so that you will stand out from your competitors. Well, a couple of things that I would like you to keep in mind are below four things about a potential property buyers when they are screening the listing. The first one, these potential buyers are looking for the best deal for the locations that they are interested at. These potential buyers have their own budget. These potential buyers have their dream home design in their mind. Generally, they know a bit about the house surrounding, but not very clear. Now, let's get started. So on most of the listing platform, you will have images, price, and a short descriptions of what are you selling before the long descriptions when your potential client click on it to read more. So this also means that we have images, price, and these short descriptions to attract our clients to read our sales copy. So as I mentioned before, every potential buyers have their own budget and looking for the best deal for the property. So the very first thing that you really need to do is to come up with an attractive price or what I always tell my client, an irresistible price. A price that if people do not buy, it will make them look dumb. Next, if your price gets to attract your client's attention, the very next thing that they are going to look at is the images. As I mentioned before, all potential buyers have their own images of their dream home in their mind. So it is very, very important that you upload clear photos of your house and its surrounding and make sure that you clean everything up before taking those pictures. So you need some pictures that are able to connect with your customer. So if the price and photos are satisfied, they will most probably click on your listing without reading your short descriptions. But we still need to make sure that we set things up perfectly. So, you only have a couple of sentences to impress your potential buyers in these short descriptions. The first sentence of a listing, you must immediately get right to the point of what the real estate is all about. As we learned before, avoid any filler. The idea is to immediately inform your potential clients about what they are looking at. So, in this first session, you could say something like this. You will love this gorgeous two-story home located just two blocks from City Park Elementary in downtown Wellington. So when you have the price, the images and a short sweet descriptions, we are actually simply answering the client questions. What am I looking at and why should I buy from you? And to give them a reason to click into our ads and keep reading. Okay, now the real game start here. Most property agents will just copy paste all the ads from the same area as it will be the same as it is in the same area. So your potential clients might already read the same type of copyright a hundred times before reading yours. So it is a good chance for you to be differentiate yourself from your competitors. The purpose of this long description has only one goal is to make this client to book a call with you. That's all about it. So in this long description, you need to do two things. Talk about the primary features and benefits of the property. Describe the property in a compelling and inspiring way. Let's look at this example. Two bedrooms, huge backyards, open space kitchen, living room, one and suite bedroom, two bathroom, garden with direct access, double glazed central heating, allocated parking. So. Do you think that this look good? Not at all. Seriously. This agent must be very busy and this agent probably have hundreds of houses that he need to list. So if you have such problem, just hire someone to write for you. No point to list something shitty without proper copywriting. 
So this is what it does wrong. It mostly states just the features of the house and no benefits and results stated. So for example, instead of the above stating huge backyard, it should say a chilling backyard that you can escape to after work. It's able to provide enough space for barbecue and great privacy. Look, it is 100 times better than the boring huge backyard itself. It does not paint a picture in your mind. Remember, I told you that all potential clients have their dream home images in their mind. Has an open space kitchen living room. If the description further elaborate to you get to enjoy a large family gathering, it's able to help your clients to imagine what living in this house will be like. It will be warm and full of happiness. Next, lack of words that sell. So you need to use words that sell. As we learned before, copywriting is turning words into sales. So every word has an emotions or idea that attached to when it is read. And that's why when you write real estate copy, be mindful of every single word that you choose. Try using some of these proven power words. When you are writing your property description, try to tie it up with some kind of free elements. And this could be like free viewing, a free brochure, just anything that is free. And this is what we call lead magnet. Next, special. Is there anything special about the property that you are selling? Perhaps maybe your house is uses like rare materials, has cool built-in facilities, or it is located near a popular place in the city. Just find a way to make the property that you are selling sound special. Safe. Every homeowner wants them and their family to be safe. So just mention that the property you are selling is located in a safe neighborhood or an area of the city. Of course, if it is. The bonus point is that if you can show the actual data on how low crime is compared to other neighbor locations, you just need to Google it to get the information. Safety is not just measured in terms of the area but also security system. Does the property have like um, security cameras, good alarms or other ways to keep it secure? Make sure that you mention it. So these are the protocol that you must follow if you want your real estate listing to stand up. I will see you on the next video. Ever get an email that you just could not resist to open? It is because someone wrote a killer subject line that grabbed your attention. Even the pro copywriter do have this folder called money generating title on their PC. So every time when they saw a great title, they will save it into this money folder. Sometimes it is really hard to think of something creative instantly. So it would be the best that if you can save those titles that attracted you to open the email into your device. And best of all, you can also copy and paste the whole sales page or the email they sent to you into this folder as well. So how to get this email at the very first place? Very, very simple. Just go to the existing website for your niche and subscribe to their newsletter. For example, if I'm into weight loss industry, I might want to go to this eatthis.com and subscribe to their newsletter. So when they send me their newsletter, I will copy their head title as a reference. Right now, just take a good 60 seconds to create an email folder on your laptop and call it money subject line. And every time you see one of those eyes catching messages, save it to this folder. And next time when you are short on creativity, open this folder and scan the subject line, you will be amazed by the inspiration you can draw to.